And I guess we'll start it off with the pinstripe report, which is brought to you by Samuel Institute for Pain Management. And even though the Yankees did drop two out of three to the hated Red Sox, once upon a time or now, whatever, is that we do have information that Garrett Cole will make Wednesday start. So no more rehab. He is back. And I think in the grand scheme of things, this could not gone of any better for the New York Yankees. One of the best records in Major League Baseball. First win, first team to 50 wins, all without Garrett Cole, which was supposed to be the major stumbling block. If you go back to the beginning of the season as well, I don't want to pick the Yankees to win the World Series. They're not going to have Garrett Cole possibly all year or for 75% of the year or till after the All-Star break. Well, they're going to get him back on June 19th, which is probably earlier than you first thought when you found out about the injury. And he's going to be adjoining a team that, as of at least right now, is in first place in the American League East. So to say they survived it would be too obvious. It's incredible. But now, yeah, you survived. But now you got to make sure you keep them out on the mound. Because we don't know. And look, we're going to hear more from Aaron Boone. It was on the uh, Talk in Yanks podcast, I guess, where he right. broke this news to the guys. So mm -hmm. once that sound becomes available, we're going to turn it around for you. But I guess the question that I would have would be, is he going to be on a pitch count? You know, how long is the leash going to be? Because you have to think big game here with Cole. It's not about hey, go out there and try to win another Cy Young award, even though you're only making your debut in the middle of June. No, it's, is this guy going to be healthy, and is he going to be still close to 100% once October rolls around? Because let's face it, Yankees are going to make the playoffs, whether it's as a division champion or as a wild card, right? right. Yes. But you want him at the top of his game when the games count the most. And, and I think, and I don't know, we maybe we'll hear later on in the interview or maybe Boone will, will speak at some point on how they're going to handle this with a rotation. Now, the easy answer would be, well, Poteet will be sent down. He's the one that was scheduled to start on Wednesday anyway, and they'll just go back to the five-man rotation. Or do you run a six-man rotation for, as you said, that kind of calms the waters for Cole when he comes back, so he's not throwing every fifth day. He's not exerting himself as he comes back. And, you know, heels pitched well, but the last couple of starts, maybe coming back down to earth just a bit, and then you worry about possibly his innings limits. Uh, Boone said that there aren't any right now, but the, the logic tells you at some point he may need to miss a start or two to conserve his innings for the postseason. So to me, with that and Cole having to kind of spoon feed him a little bit here early on, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I think going with a six-man rotation for a little bit might not be a bad idea. No, I agree, and especially with Heal. And this was regardless whether it was going to be Cole or not, because even after the start the other night, he was at 80 innings for the season, which is already his career high, at least in terms of the big leagues. Plus, he's got Tommy John surgery already in his history. So you knew that from now until the end of the season, there was going to be a situation where either he was going to have a start skipped, they were really going to manage the workload, because he's a guy that's proven to be way too valuable for you. You know, and you want him at the end of the year when those games have so much more importance. But what Boone said last week when Cole made his last start up in Rochester for the AAA team, even though he was only up to, I think, about 70 pitches or something in that game, one of the things that was interesting was, no, he could stretch out at the big league level. Like, normally you use those minor league starts to stretch out. Boone said, no, he could still do that even if he's pitching for us with the big club. So I think that that's what they're going to end up doing. Now, look, I wouldn't pencil in for 100 pitches on Wednesday against Baltimore, but I think slowly but surely, and I don't think that that's the worst move. I mean, Don, we're not talking about a guy who's, you know, two years into the league, doesn't know how to handle himself and how to deal with the workload of getting in the flow of a season. I mean, this is the guy who, at the beginning of the year, we all thought was the best pitcher in baseball. Yeah. So I think he can handle this, and he knows his body, he knows his arm probably better than anybody else biomechanically would be able to tell him. I believe you're right. So I will see how they end up handling this. And the amazing thing about the Yankees, yes, they dropped two out of three from the Red Sox, and there's a lot of things to get into. You know, they ran rough shot over Torino. They, they, the bullpen was not great. Um, they, they, they hit pretty well. It's just that they, they lost. I mean, it's going to happen, right? You know, they, they lost that game against Kansas City when they were on their way to sweeping, came back, tied the game only to lose it in the ninth, and then you drop two out of three from Boston. But they, they're still an unbelievable baseball team. But here's the rub. Mm-hmm. 
Guess who's tied with them in the loss column is Baltimore. Now, I think the Yankees are going to win this division. I think they're more experienced. I think overall they're the better team. But to be sitting here having the start that the Yankees have had, which has rivaled the 2022 start, which is right up there with what Philadelphia has done. Philadelphia's got a nice cushion. What is it, eight games over the Atlanta Braves. Usually you benefit from having a nice breather between you and the second place team. Baltimore has not allowed that to happen. So anytime the Yankees drop a game here, we could have a hell of a pennant race here. Down the stretch, for as good as the Yankees are, and I think baseball's so bad that the Yankees, I think, are going to win 100 and plus, 100 plus games, maybe 110 when it's all said and done. Usually when you have a kind of season like that, you get the coast. I don't know if they're going to get a chance to coast. You can make a case that July 30th might decide the American League East, because depending on what Baltimore and the Yankees do with the deadline to maybe bring in some reinforcements, that could put one team over the top. What's scary about Baltimore is they're sitting there with this record tied with the Yankees Yankees in the loss column, and they've got four starting pitchers who are on the shelf. Two of them underwent Tommy John surgery. Right. Kramer's got a strained tricep. Kyle Bradish, a sprained elbow, which could ultimately maybe land him under the knife. So Baltimore's losing guys left and right, but they haven't skipped a beat. No. That's what's and, scary. And financially, they will be able to run with the Yankees as far as making deals and adding salary when they get to the trade deadline. So I don't think Baltimore's going away. I would pick the Yankees to win it. But that's just kind of on a hunch because Baltimore has been terrific this year, and they were very good last year, so they're growing into this. We knew that Baltimore was going to be the biggest threat in this division. I don't think we knew they would be this good this fast, so I don't think they're going away. And another scary thing is you look at the Yankees. They have mopped up on the AL Central, 16-2 yep. and two against the Central Division. Well, the Orioles have as well. They're 8-2. and two against the Central Division. So what does that tell you? That tells you that they still have another 10 games that they haven't played against the Central Division that the Yankees have. So they're going to probably continue to mop up. And plus, they're doing a terrific job in the division, much better than the Yankees in the American League East. So little indicators that Baltimore is not going away at and all. And you're going to see a lot, and the Yankees are going to see a lot of the AL East coming up soon because I think it's like 16 of the next 24 leading into the All-Star break. Yankees are playing AL East teams. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, you're going to get it. And look, I understand there's a couple. This might not be Tampa's year. You know, for once in a life, like, maybe these injuries are too much to overcome for them, right? Maybe this isn't Tampa's year. Boston's a team that I don't think they're a playoff squad, but they've had way better starting pitching, much like the Yankees, than maybe anybody thought possible. That's what's keeping them afloat. Toronto has been an underachiever this year, and I think that there's going to be some changes made up in Toronto here pretty soon. Probably. You're looking at a two-team race in the yeah. division. And, and we haven't really said that for a while. And the, the problem is with the Orioles. Forget about 2024. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Like 25, and 26, 27, 28. This team has more talent in the pipeline than they know what to do with. Yeah. Than but, they know what to do with. But the Yankees get Cole back. You know, Rizzo's hurt. We're going to probably get information on him with his collision that he had yesterday. I mean, he hasn't been raking, but you still could end up losing Rizzo. You've he was got, starting to hit, too, the last right, couple well, of days. Torres, That's too. Weird. I mean, you know, Torres still has his issues, and we'll get into that a little bit later on as well. But there are actual reasons why the Yankees could actually play better than they've been playing. I mean, Judge is Judge, Soto Soto, so that's not like that's a fluke, right? Volpe, we knew how good he could be. He's growing into what could be an outstanding shortstop. And the only thing is, does this rotation eventually dial itself back down because it's been so good and heel's been so good, but you got Cole coming back. So right. I can't imagine that anything is going to bottom out there. So, And you want to win this division. This is not back in the day where there was no difference. You win this division, you get there and sit and watch the wild card team have to play three consecutive games and then mess up their rotation uh, going into the next round. So you want to win this division. I think this could be a hell of a good time in the American League East between these two teams the rest of the way. No, you're, you're spot on about that. And look, I'm not I'm not pressing the panic button because they lost two out of three of the Red Sox. We're going to lose series, man. It's going to happen. They were, they were playing an unbelievable clip. You, you saw, you know, I, I looked at the loss on Thursday as kind of like a law of averages, right? Because Kansas City's a good team. They went in, like, what, 12 games above 500. But uh, it's and baseball. Three, and you took three out of four. It's baseball. This is not football where you can rattle off, you know, 16 straight wins and go 16 and one. and all. You're going to have hiccups. I, mean, I remember the, the 86 Mets in 08. 
know, they 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 they, they had a four game losing streak. The Yankees got off to a slow start when they won 114 games back in '98. You're going to have your hiccup, and it was a bit of a hiccup. All right, they've lost three of their last four games. Not a big deal overall, but what it did do is allow Baltimore to now tie you in the loss column. Kind of crazy though that they've played three less games. Like so, there's a lot, a lot of, of bad weather. games to be played. Yeah. A lot of bad weather in the East Coast and all that, but still a lot of good news surrounding the Yankees as they get Garrett Cole back for his start on Wednesday.